let's get into our 80s movies. I used to watch this movie like once a year forever. Um, so we got Michael Caine, Michael Caine, uh, Steve Martin. Yeah. I almost forgot his name. And <laughs> his butler was Palpatine. Michael, I don't remember his name. Michael what? Caine. He, he Ian mentioned McDermott. it to me. Yeah, he Ian McDermott. <laughs> so yeah, the, the premise of the movie is uh, we've got this guy in like the Italian Riviera or whatever. French. French. Whatever. Europe. <laughs> Some Euro trash. Somewhere in Europe. Yeah. Uh, and he's like this giant con artist who's got this mansion and stuff. And then he's on this train. And then what seems to be this like small town con artist gets on steve martin and then he's like oh well i can't have competition here uh so then he gets him to shoe off and so i'm just gonna call the cops on him <laughs> well no the chief uh police inspector works for him <laughs> and yeah it's uh 1988 this movie came out and directed by um frank oz no. Oh. So it's directed by Yoda. You must unlearn what you have learned. Good job he yeah. did. <laughs> Good job he did. And this movie has some of my favorite lines from any... I think what rewatching this just makes me realize how much of my childhood was written by Steve Martin. He's quite good. <laughs> and yeah. like... Like, Steve Martin and Jim Carrey, I reckon, probably have 90% of my vocabulary <laughs> growing up. Okay. The the bit in the jail cell when he's trying to remember his name, I have quoted that. In jail? No, I'm just no. Like, yeah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> he's like, Lawrence Chesterton! Lawrence... Lawrence Fells, Lawrence Fangs, Forrest Lawrenceton, Lo Lars, Lars, L Lawrence, Lawrence Luck, Lawrence. <laughs> His name is James Jessenden. He gets back on the plane to shoo him off. Then he realizes that he is also that Michael Caine is also a con, con artist. So then he goes back and then coerces him to teach him. But really, Michael Caine was doing a double switcheroo on him because he's like, I'll take you under my wing, teach you all of the stuff that sucks, so then you'll piss off. The Kane, but Caine does fall in love, obviously, with her. Sure. Right? They both feelings. do. Yeah. Because she's feelings. a con artist. Yeah. yeah and that's, that's her... That's the big twist. Yeah, for everyone. Oh, yeah, if you haven't, if you seen haven't this watched movie, it, still watch it. Yeah, it's, it's funny. It's, it's great. It's one of my favorite comedies growing up. It's one of the great things about comedies: the plot doesn't actually matter too much. No, it's just how much you enjoy watching it. Dude, the 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 dinner scene when he's with Michael Caine's training uh, Steve Martin, and they're at the big dinner table, and he's he's uh, Steve Martin's playing Ruprecht, and he's got the eye patch on. But no, the, the bit where he's just like, Ruprecht, don't take the cork off the fork. Why does the cork, why is there a cork on the fork? <laughs> to protect himself. And he's, uh, why is the cork on the fork? To prevent him hurting himself and others. Uh. <laughs> 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 Sir, may I please use the bathroom? Excuse me. May I go to the bathroom first? Of course you may. Thank you. Is it one of the top five of the decade, comedy-wise? Top five. Oh, there's some good comedy movies. Dude. Uh, uh, Leslie Nielsen. Oh Naked yeah, Naked Gun. Uh, uh, that airplane or Naked Gun actually was going to be my suggestion. What's the other one? Uh, planes, trains, and automobiles. Planes, trains, and That's automobiles. Good. That was oh, Uncle Buck's well. good too. Uncle oh, Buck. Yeah. I love Uncle Buck. Do you know what else I love? Do you guys know the Great Outdoors? Great Outdoors is with John Candy, and his brother-in-law, or I can't remember. He's got a family member. I think it might be a brother. Right. Um, and his kids uh, decide to hitch on to john candy's vacation out to a cabin right um and so he wants to go dan out. dan Aykroyd's in there yeah, yeah the oh, dan Aykroyd's yeah, cool. dan Aykroyd and um 
John Candy, yeah. Yeah. What what year was that movie released? Nineteen eighty. Uh, Nineteen eighty-eight. Eighty-eight. Eighty-eight was a good year. It was oh, a good year for comedy. Good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a good vintage. Not for um, whiskey, but comedy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it, it's a it's a really good movie. I I love it. It's not I like it's to... a super fantastic movie that you have to watch. You just it's gave just... away the movie you were on top of. Well, <laughs> it's like a great. It's just a fun the movie for the summer. I haven't seen this. No, I don't think serious? I've seen that one either. What Later. else has John Candy done? Home Alone. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Yes. that's a comedy. Yeah, Those yeah, are yeah. Christmas. He wasn't comedies. much in it though. I know, I know, but like, half. yeah, he, he's only in Cool Runnings. End. Gentlemen, this is a bobsled, sort of. Oh, oh my gosh, Ghostbusters. That's a comedy, isn't it? I would count Ghostbusters, Ghostbusters? as no, a comedy. No, that's not comedy. You fill it with comedians. Yeah, yeah that's a comedy. it is a comedy. I don't, I don't know. Maybe it's a, that's a, that's as much of a comedy as Guardians of, Com- of the Galaxy. Is. Yeah, Guardians of the Galaxy is a comedy. They call themselves the Guardians of the Galaxy. What a bunch of a holes. Hmm. Like Beetlejuice is a comedy. Yeah, that's a horror. Uh, that's a horror that movie. Beetlejuice. I mean, it's done by Tim Burton, <laughs> so it's. Naturally, well, it's supposed gonna to be, be funny though. Movie. He's a funny character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been trying to convince my girlfriend to watch a movie called. Um, I had, I watched a full Twilight series with her recently because she the new one or the old one. The Twilight. Yeah, like the Twilight Zone. You talking about? No, no. Twilight. The oh, te- oh, shiny no, no, teenage oh, no, vampires. No, I know. No, no, so no. Robert Patterson one. Yeah, Patterson. yeah. So, uh, so don't worry. I know. <laughs> yeah. um, so I had to watch it all. So I'm like, hey, do you know what we should watch next? Van oh, Helsing. Yeah. Watch Van, Van Helsing. Oh, it's, and that's uh, uh, with Wolverine. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Van Helsing that is Van dope. Helsing is great. I will admit, yeah. but Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter is just that's it's over sound, the top. Oh. It sounds over the top, but I've read the book. I watched it. It's so good. <laughs> that movie, uh, based off of a book, mm-hmm. and the book was actually decent. Um, besides the name, which sounds super corny, <laughs> um, like what was that other corny? They were movie? going for that though. Well, yeah, they, they were the they're ripping off Jesus top, Christ yeah. Superstar. Yeah, uh, <laughs> Cowboys versus Aliens. Cowboys, what, yeah, but it's got a serious story. Oh, that story. was awesome. That was yeah. a good movie. That too. was good. Although, what was it? Daniel Craig and Harrison Ford. Yep. In one movie Talk about together. Some powerhouses there. Yep. That's well. That's awesome. You, you got to watch uh, Constantine after that. <laughs> Constantine? Keanu, Keanu oh. Constantine. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that one's great. Yep. I love that. Mr. Yeah. Constantine, I'd like to ask you a few questions. Yeah, but ah. the Keanu Reeves version, they're already doing Constantine 2. We already watched Constantine. It's just John Wick. <laughs> it is, but John Wick fighting demons. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> I, I'd, I'd watch it. Yeah, no, Constantine with the exorcism stuff. It, it brings kind of horror, but in a John Wick-esque style. I love how we compare <laughs> it to John Wick. <clears throat> Because that's his character, but oh, also yeah. because that's the style. It's that kind of brutal fighting. It was at early 2000s. I recently I watched that, Constantine Reanimate. It didn't hold up in terms of graphics. Really? Oh, yeah. No. Yeah. But the storyline was still good. Yep. You can still walk through it and watch it. It's pretty good. Yeah. yeah I love the, the little shroud that he uses that he burns. It's what cloth from Moses or yeah. something like that. He's got a whole bunch of tricks up It's all thing. like, hold, I'm going to take this holy item, light it on fire. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's a flamethrower. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more content.